This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Jane Stott back with me. You are with Studio Theater Perth. Welcome back. Thank you so much, Kathy. You are such a busy uh, theater because uh, it just seems you were just here. <laughs> <laughs> that would be for taking care of the Browns, which uh, had a very successful run. And yes, I was on your uh, station with uh, Gray Masson, who directed that play. And it went well, you said? It went very, very well. And we were very fortunate to have the playwright come to uh, the final show. And he was thrilled with what the cast and crew had done with his production. So that was uh, a, an extra bonus for us. Does that happen very often? Uh, generally, if they're local, uh, and uh, Peter Paler is a local uh, in the area, Quinte uh, playwright. So it's great when somebody will come and see their, their play done. Excellent, excellent. So let's talk about the next play you've got going. Okay, uh, the next play is Shirley Valentine, uh, which uh, sort of bookends what I did in November, which was the other Willie Russell uh, play that's been made into a movie, and that was Educating Rita. So uh, that was a two-hander with two uh, young, very accomplished actors, and this one is a one-woman show. Wow, that, that's, that's amazing. Like, she's got no backup, no, she's all there by herself. That's got a, she a whole is, different uh, experience. Exactly. The, the actor is Krista Duff, and uh, she was in our theater, very involved, and then took a hiatus for a, a few years and jumped right back in with a one-woman show, and um, she is a powerhouse. She is uh, going to be somebody that you won't want to miss. I, I have been to Broadway, and I've been to Stratford and to Shaw, and you will not see a performance uh, uh, that can rival anything that was there. I mean, you will see a performance that will rival anything that's been there. She's just amazing. She actually does uh, 14 characters wow. in this play. Wow. So uh, as well as being Shirley Valentine. Wow. I, you know, I, it's probably a, a question better suited for her, but maybe you can answer on her behalf. What, what would be easier, working with a team of people on the stage or just by yourself? Well, it's interesting that you should mention the whole team approach because she sent me an email uh, a few weeks ago and um, if I just want to read you part of it here, it says, uh, I couldn't have asked for a better team. I was worried about taking on a one woman show as my reintroduction to the theater. However, with your guidance and help, I feel confident that we'll put on a great show. One woman play, question mark. It's actually a four hander and she's including there my uh, stage manager, Catherine Hooten, and my producer, Jeremy Dutton. So between the four of us, we did rehearsals via Zoom. We did rehearsals at the theater. And she is completely off book, which means she doesn't need a prompter anymore for an hour and a half of dialogue. Wow. She's wow. just amazing. That is. What well, can you tell us a little bit about the play, Shirley Valentine? I sure can. Um, it's it's an everyman play, even though it's uh, starring a woman. It's about men and women who, uh, they grow up, they get married, they have children, they have a job, but they forget and they lose who they were, what their dreams were uh, as a young person, as, as an adult, it's just starting out. And Shirley rediscovers herself and finds herself again. She uh, is Mrs. Bradshaw, Shirley Bradshaw, and she discovers the Shirley Valentine that she was as a young girl. And it's a, it's a very, very uh, heartwarming and in some cases heart-wrenching play. Uh, you'll need Kleenex uh, because either you'll be laughing so hard that the tears will be streaming down your face or you will be so moved that you'll need to dab a little bit at the corner of your eye. Wow, wow. well, I mean, that description uh, a, a lot of us can relate to, absolutely. Exactly. And she is, um, there's a rapport that she has developed. Um, she's alone on the stage, but we have two amazing sets. Uh, the first half is her small, rather confining kitchen in Liverpool. And the second half is this beautiful, wide open expanse of the Greek seashore with all the beautiful, vibrant colors there. And she's the only one on the stage but she talks to everybody in the audience as if you're the only person there. It's like you're sitting having a cup of tea with a really close friend. And I've seen the show so many times as the director. Uh, I was just there, actually our last rehearsal was on Sunday and I had tears in my eyes <laughs> listening to her and everybody in the audience. I mean, our tech people, our costume people, our props people and so on, 
were sitting there in the audience and nobody made a sound because they were just so moved. And you cheer and you laugh and uh, you just stand up at the end and clap. It's wonderful. Wow, what, what a project for her to take on after she's had a, what did you say, a five-year hi hiatus? Pretty much, yeah. Um, and this is, this is a mom of five and a grandmother as well. So she's, uh, she's a busy lady, and, but she is just so dedicated and so true to her craft. She is uh, everything that a professional actor would want to be. A local girl? Local lady? She is, yes. <laughs> yep. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Now, when is the show going to be, uh, or when is the play going to be on? It starts on Thursday, March 31st, and it runs for eight shows. So we have two weekends, Thursday, Friday, Saturday at 7.30, and then two Sunday matinees at 2 p.m. So the last show is Sunday, April the 10th. All right, right. I wrote these down too. Uh, dreams are never in the places we expect them to be. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a quote from the play, and that is actually spoken uh, by a, a very handsome a Greek taverna owner who of course is Shirley so Shirley speaks in all these different roles and when she's talking as Costas you just see him there uh, you see her young teenage uh, daughter there talking to her you see her rather belligerent and and bullying husband there um, people uh all over people on the uh, on the plane that she's talking to and and her friend who takes her over there as, as a special treat you meet all these characters and you absolutely forget that it's Shirley just wow. from the way she talks and her body language it, it's amazing wow wow now what is the next play you've got on the agenda at uh, studio Theater? ah the, the next play after this one which will be going on uh, at the very end of May is a wonderful uh, heartwarming World War II uh, drama about uh, a mother and her three daughters and uh, they are living through uh, a bombing actually in London uh, in Bournemouth rather and it's um, it's an amazing play and we've got five actors involved in that one as well and funnily enough I'm involved in that one as well as stage manager so it's uh, it's great to go from one era to another and um, to see the uh, the stretch that all our actors can, can do. One of the actors uh, in, uh, uh, sorry, this year, the next year was also in Taking Care of the Browns, so you'll have a little bit of a repeat there as well. Excellent, excellent. I mean, you, you change your roles an awful lot there too. <laughs> I think everybody in community theater um, is very versatile and, and can do uh, almost everything from from costuming to uh, running the lights to being on stage uh, and it's wonderful when we do switch roles like that because then we can appreciate what the other people are doing and also what we're going to ask of them and what we what we can uh, see that they're going to produce. And it does it takes a great team of people to put together a play. It does. I mean, we have we have one person on stage for this play and we have a dozen people backstage doing everything from, from posters to lighting to costuming. Um, so it's it's an amazing production. And the sets for this, I think, as I already mentioned, are absolutely lovely. I'm sorry, that's my clock bonging in the background there. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed. <laughs> well, this is great, this is great. Uh, and other than plays at the uh, Studio Theatre Perth, there's other things going on as well. There is indeed. We, we partner with a group called Harmony Concerts and they are going to be having uh, some music for us uh, come April. And also we show movies, uh, first run movies, and we're going to be having a couple of those in April as well. So um, you can get your uh, fix of all things entertainment wise with movies and music and plays. And where are you spot. located in Perth? We are uh, just at the back of uh, actually facing onto the Perth Basin. Everybody in Perth sort of knows where the Crystal Palace is. We're on Gore Street and um, it's a lovely facility. We have an elevator there for people who need uh, help to get upstairs to the theater. And we are right now uh, for this particular play, we're going at 50% capacity, um, just coming out of COVID, but wanting to make sure everybody is still comfortable. Uh, we still are asking for masking 
if you feel that you would like to have masks on, that will be fine, but we are not taking QR codes anymore. Okay, okay. So the dates again for Shirley Valentine and how to get tickets? March 31st to April 10, and you go to ticketsplease.ca to get tickets. And you can also get them at the door on show times, on show nights, half an hour before the show starts, um, if there are tickets available. So we are at 50% capacity, which means um, 100 seats for every show. Um, okay. So hopefully you'll get a seat and uh, it's something you do not want to miss. It's an amazing, amazing play. So I encourage people to order early. <laughs> Exactly, exactly, exactly. Especially for the matinees. The matinees on Sundays are always popular um, for people who don't want to have to go out at night. So those two sell out very quickly. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you very much, Jane Stott. You're the director of Shirley Valentine and uh, joining us again here on FYI. Thank you very much from Studio Theatre Perth. 